import it. Beautiful. Now, for our lock icon, we want to use, we want to take this, copy it, paste it here, and this one wants to use the lock icon. So we're going to search for lock. Oh, lock, lock. Okay, so lock here. We copy this, import it, we come here and we change this to lock. And I was change this to um, login. Okay, so that is perfect. What's going on? Why is it showing this? Uh, we created another paper. No, 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 we don't do that. It should be all within one. Okay, so now we can see we have what we need here. But in this, we can see there's a switch up between different. Um, sign up and log in. So we need to get this switch item here. So we come to our material UI and look for a switch. Okay, so our switch here. So we want a switch with an on change and a checked, which is this. So what we're going to do is we're going to import the switch first of all. Then we're going to import this. This will handle the files. Okay, we already have this here. Mm, looks like I did that a little bit earlier. So we already have this here. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to take this switch. Let's copy it. We're going to put it below this. And let's check our switch. On and off, on and off. Also, we want a little bit of a break, break in line. From this, so now checks change change. So what we're going to do? We're going to come here. We're going to say if checked, give us give us this face icon. Else, give us this other icon. We need to save them. So now. You can see we have a switch up between this and that. Also, we need a little bit of padding at the top of uh, this paper component. So we're going to come here. We just say style. We need to say close to just a little bit of padding. Uh, we just say 10 px. Okay, sorry. We need to put two curly braces and then padding. And then we're going to say 10 px. So if I see there's a little bit of gap here. So this is completed, but now we have to create our login form and sign up form. So we're going to create a file called form control. We're going to create the sign up.js. I'm going to create the login dot JS and login the JS with the RMC. Let's log in. And sign up to say RMC and save. But then it's sign up. So here now we're going to take this. This check we have here. Let's go below this. Frequent. But this time I'm going to import this is sign up. So we're going to say sign up and into automatic. Automatically, sorry, automatically allows to import it. And then here we're going to say log, log in. And in our login and login file, we'll say log and sign up file, we'll say sign up. Okay, so log in. Sign up, login, sign up. All right, so let's get started with our sign up first and foremost because this is where we have the most inputs, three inputs. Wow. So we come here to our sign up. The first thing we need, we need a text, a text, um, a text field. Okay, so the text field components in Material I 
um it comes with different variants we have the outlined the field like this and the standard we're going to be using the standard variation so let's go back to our app come back here so i have a text field let's copy we've already imported the text field let's copy the standard let's copy this and paste it here so now we're going to look at how it looks in our app and see it like this it looks okay now we have the id standard basic we have the label we're going to label it user need so after that we'll, we have the variant standard we're going to set our uh, full width on this let's say full width let's look that's how it is Okay, so you can see it's full width right now. Okay, you got that right. Okay, so now after the username, we're going to also do uh, make this size smaller. Sure. And then I think that's it's okay for now. We're going to copy this. I'm going to paste. Uh, first of all, I'm going to put this in a in a p tag so there can be a bit of space between it and the next field okay that's good so we're going to take this into copy it okay. not like that control alt copy so we have a second one let's bring this up so we can you can watch the changes we made. Okay. Second one is an email. And the last one we have is the password. So the password is a bit different. We need to go to React. Uh, sorry, React, I said React. We need to go to Material UI and look for the password field, the one that we can use with visibility on and off. So we're going to go here and see something. This is what we want. This is the oil off. So we're going to go down. Go down all the way down. So we have it here as form control. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going to copy it and we're going to put it in a P tag. And we're going to also copy the different things that come with it. For example, show password, click show password, and all of this. Yeah. So we go here. I will paste that. And this is called the hit password field. And these are just functions to help with it. So we're going to take the form control imports from here and we screw that here. And with that, our site should be okay. It says input level, inputs, input adornments, icon button, visibility, or visibility are not imported. So what we're going to do, we're going to just take all this from here. Let's copy it and go to paste it here. Okay, so we don't need this. We don't need this. Uh, I think text field, we already, we already imported text field. And that should be. Okay, it says icon button is not defined. Icon button. Okay. okay. We need to add that. So now. Okay, sit here. It's looking good. It's looking good. So we're going to come into the inputs here. We're going to save full width. We're going to save it. And we see how that works. It's still not going full width. So how we're going to do this exactly. Um 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the phone control. Okay, we have here margin one with 20. Let's cast this margin. Let's come to the split here and say 100%. Okay, perfect. On and off. All right. All right, this is done. So now we also have to do what's next. We have to do the, the button. So we're going to go to material UI. We're going to go to the button component. Uh, we have button component here. You can see a simple button. And that's all we're going to need for now. Yes. So we're going to take the content. But we want one with an icon. So there should be code here to support the icon. So we can see it here. Icon button, which is perfect. So we're going to copy that code for it. We want it in the start. So we're going to copy this. And we're going to come down here. You create another P tag and paste the button. So now we have the delete icon. We do not want the delete icon, but first of all, let's copy this import button. So yeah, paste it here. In the matter you are imports. What's my name of that? Now we have the delete icon here. We don't want the delete icon, so we're going to search icon. Okay, we're going to search on icon, we're going to search submit. Uh, I don't like this one. You will see sign up. This one's not flex. So we're going to use this. So I think this should be the login login icon. Exactly. So we're going to copy this. We're going to come here. We're going to impute it. Import it rather, then we're going to come here and see the login icon. And we're not going to see this, we're going to see sign up. Here we have it here. But you can see here it's full width and it's not outlined like this. So, how do we do that? We're going to see instead of outlined, uh, to go to the button button component you can see that this is contained so we're going to take this contain yes i'm going to switch it to the out 